Hello digital monkey school students. Let's continue adding detail to your objects for a cityscape diorama. In my last tutorial I showed you how to make a simple balcony. Today I'm going to show you how to turn the simple balcony into a balcony fire escape, which is a little bit more appropriate to New York City style brownstone. This balcony, as you can see, a separate object. Hide the building, go to edit mode, select the bottom face, Control I to invert the selection. X to delete faces. I'm going to build the balcony from this plane. Go to edges, select this edge, shift D to duplicate, enter, right click, subdivide this edge, give it 10 cuts. Go to edges, press E to extrude, press X, and then hold down Control, and then snap it to this vertex right here. Press Ctrl L to select the entire thing. Press Shift H to hide source plane. Press X. Only faces. To delete some edges. Go to edges with two. Those edges across. Now I'm going to delete those edges. I don't need them. X. Delete edges. Alt H to unhide everything. And now I have a plane which I'm going to use to make another duplicate edge by shift D, right click on it again, and then subdivide it. This time, give it seven cuts. Press D to extrude, this D to go out, extrude it 2.5 meters. Press Ctrl L, shift H to hide what I don't need. Go to faces, X to delete only faces, and then I'm going to delete edges that I don't want, which is this guy and that guy, X, and delete those edges. Alt H, don't hide everything. Now I wanna do railing for the side of my balcony. Select this edge, press Shift S, and then move cursor to active. Select three of those edges, check to see where my pivot is set to, change it to 3D cursor, Shift D, off for rotation, Z for axis, and then minus 90. Press Shift D, Y, hold control, and then snap that to the other side. Next, I need to generate edges for the railing. Alt, left click on the source face, Shift D, Z, Alt Control, snap it to the top of the edge. I need to get rid of those faces, which I no longer need. Go to face, select those faces, X, delete only faces. I want to separate this into two different objects. Go to edges, alt left click on the top, alt left click shift on the bottom, press P, separate my selection, call this new object railing. Go to object mode, select everything with A, right click, and I'm going to convert this to a curve. With that done, I'm going to go to object data properties, change the depth and resolution. But when I do this, I'm going to hold Alt, so it applies to both objects. So I'm going to go here, hold Alt, click here, resolution, zero, depth, point one, while still holding Alt, enter. And you can see that we already got something that looks like the Firescape balcony. But we need to turn the geometry, right? Because its orientation is wrong. It's not flat, so it wouldn't be very comfortable to walk on those. For that, I'm going to go to edit mode with tab. This button right here is tilt. Move this a little bit, do the rest in tilt properties, turn it 45 degrees, and that orients the edges in the correct way. Lastly, change the diameter of my rods. Go to object mode, select this object right here, and reduce depth for this particular object to maybe something like 0.05. This is how you make Firescape Balcony. Now, I would need to duplicate this and uh, connect it to another balcony with the stairs. But in a nutshell, this is how you do it. We're Digital Monkey School. I hope you learned something new today. And I will talk to you in my next tutorial.